Kamala Harris made sure not to touch on anything that matters to black people. Kamala Harris made sure not to touch on anything that matters to black people. Her message was clear. Immigrants are the future. Immigrants are the future of America, which makes sense because white people are losing their numbers. Which makes sense because white people are losing their numbers. Which makes sense because white people are losing their numbers. And so the people of color are the new probationary whites in America. I hope you American Africans are listening to me. I hope you American Africans are listening to me. I hope you American Africans are listening to me. People of color is the new cold word for temporary Caucasian. People of color is the new cold word for probationary Caucasian. I hope you're listening to me. People of color is the new cold word for symbolic Caucasian. I hope y'all listening. And black people, part of this is our fault. American Africans, first of all, the melanin is dripping in Virgo season because the Leo sun is in the sky every day. Melanin drip. The melanin is dripping right now, brothers and sisters. I, I look fabulous if I might say so myself. My African DNA, my ancestral lineage is shining through. Not a lineage of slaves, but a lineage of freedom fighters. Not a lineage of slaves, but a lineage of the enslaved. Not a lineage of slaves, but a lineage of the free. See, unlike you Negroes, unlike you Negroes, I don't believe there were slaves in America before 1865. There were enslaved Africans in America, but there were no slaves. Enslaved, you are forced. Slave, you are willing. Enslaved, you are forced. Slave, you are willing. Are you following me, brothers and sisters? Give me some hearts from the queens and some fists from the kings. Are you following me, my unapologetically African anti-snow bunny alpha males are you following me my unapologetically african anti-snow puppy queens out there we were enslaved before 1865 we volunteered to be slaves after 1865 we were enslaved before 1865 we volunteered to be slaves after 1865 we have been pushing multiculturalism to our own detriment for the last 24 years. I'm scolding the black bourgeoisie. I'm scolding the Negro elite. I'm scolding the black church. I'm scolding the black secret societies. I'm scolding black America. Did we or did we not push multiculturalism since the year 2000? True or false? Doesn't every other black person you know talk about how they love all people? They don't see color. Talk black to me right now, Africans. Did we not for the last quarter of a century tell the whole world we love everybody and we don't want no special treatment? We don't want no, we don't want no favors. True or false, brothers and sisters? Did we not dig the ditch? Did we not dig the grave that Barack Obama, Joe Biden and Kamala Harris have pushed us into? Did not the American African people, did we or did we not dig the grave for the past 24 years that Barack Biden and Kamala are going to push us into? We created this people of color multicultural comfortability. We made it comfortable for them to ignore us for the POCs. And when I say POC, I'm speaking of peoples of color. When I say POC, the POCs, we got the LGBTs and now we got the POCs. We got the LGBTs and now we got the POCs. Immigrants who are coming to remove the American African. New York and Chicago. 
were only the testing grounds because they are the two largest and the two strongest black communities. New York City and Chicago was only the testing ground because they were the two largest and the two strongest black communities. Once Kamala gets elected, they are going to take the migrant crisis national. Oh, yes. Jackson, Mississippi, Memphis, Tennessee, Detroit, Michigan, Philadelphia, Baltimore, Little Rock. The immigration crisis is coming to a black community near you. I said the immigration crisis is coming to a black community near you. I said the immigration crisis is coming to a black community near you. Kamala Harris made it clear, the future of America is the future of probationary whites, symbolic whites, the POCs, people of color. People of color are the new Americans. White people numbers are down. They're not reproducing. They're trying to isolate the mitochondrial DNA of the African queendom, but they have not been successful until then people of color will rule you. Let's go to the Caribbean islands for a comparative analysis. Let's go to the Caribbean islands for a comparative analysis. Shall we go to the Caribbean islands for a comparative analysis? Where are my Caribbean Africans at? Where are my Caribbean Africans at? Where are my Caribbean Africans at? This is the Prince of Pan-Africanism coming to you live from Wilmington, Delaware. FDMG Wilmington, Delaware. Hit the cash app and the PayPal for the school of the future. FDMG Wilmington, Delaware. Let's go to the Caribbean. My Jamaican Africans know this. My Bermudian Africans know this. My Bahamian Africans know this. My St. Croix, St. Thomas, St. Lucia, St. Martin, St. Vincent Africans know this. Oh, yes. My Turks and Caicos Africans know this. My Grenadian Africans know this. My Guadalupean Africans know this. And do you know what they know? They know that before the white man left the Caribbean, he put the brown man and the yellow man in position before the white man left the Caribbean. He put the brown man and the yellow man in position to make sure black people could never control those islands again. Talk black to me, Jamaica. Talk black to me, Haiti. Talk black to me, Grenada. Talk black to me, St. Croix, St. Thomas, St. Lucia, St. Vincent. Talk black to me. Talk black to me. The white man put the brown man and the yellow man in charge of the Caribbean islands to make sure black people would never control them again. He's about to do the same thing to the black communities of America. There will be an East Indian Caribbean invasion of black America. There will be an East Indian Caribbean invasion of black America. There will be East Indians from the Caribbean invading black America and taking over our communities like you have never seen before. This is why calling Kamala Harris a black woman is establishing an East Indian takeover of the American African community. I said this is why calling Kamala Harris a black woman is creating the groundwork for every East Indian in the Caribbean islands to come to America and say they black. I got news for you. Much to the East Indian family, I have nothing against you. No disrespect to the Asian family, the Chinese, the Latino, the Arab. I have no quarrel with you. I'm simply saying that our oppressor, our former slave master, our colonizer is using you to get rid of us. Using you as a proxy and an intermediary to oppress us. And now that black people are calling Kamala Harris black. And let me say this, 
There's nothing more ridiculous than to hear a Negro say Kamala Harris looks like an everyday black woman. Take any East Indian woman, all due respect to them, take any East Indian woman and put them in some black clothes and give them a black hairstyle and give them some black swag and they will look just like your auntie and uncle as well. The East Indian looks the most like the American African because the East Indian, India, was originally peopled in ancient times by African people. So yes, East Indians have the DNA of the African family because they came from us. So the fact Kamala Harris's skin is brown, that doesn't make her an African. I can show you Chinese with brown skin. I can show you Vietnamese with brown skin. I can show you Arabs with brown skin that don't make them Africans. They talking about she the same color of us. Most East Indians are your color because their ancient ancestors came from Africa. Vietnamese, I can show you Vietnamese darker than me. They not African, their ancestors are African. We don't even realize. We just threw an alley-oop to the East Indians to colonize the black community. We don't even realize it. So politically uneducated and ridiculous. We don't even realize it. We are throwing an alley-oop. What did my uncle Steve Harvey say? I'm throwing an alley-oop. Kamala Harris is throwing the alley-oop for the East Indians to take over the black community. I want you to pay attention to how your community goes from black to brown. Pay attention. Brown migrants and brown East Indians are the future of black America. Spanish speaking brown people and East Indian speaking brown people. Spanish speaking brown people and East Indian speaking brown people. Spanish speaking brown people and East Indian speaking brown people are the future of the American African. And if you think East Indians like black folks, whoo -hoo, if you think East Indians like black folks, you better go read some Mahatma Gandhi. If you think East Indians like black folks, you better go read some Mahatma Gandhi. If you think East Indians like black folks, you better go read some Mahatma Gandhi. You better go visit Durban, South Africa. Where my Durban, South Africa Africans at? Where my Durban, they'll tell you about how East Indians feel about black people. Go to India and talk to the, the uh, so-called untouchables of East India and how they get treated by East Indians. They can't stand blacks. This is Kamala Harris. She's a South Asian. Her parents claim black just so they can get the civil rights benefits to help themselves get better. This is how Caribbean East Indians operate. They claim black to get the benefits Kamala Harris's parents claim she was black so they can get the affirmative action benefits, so they could get the housing benefits. They only claimed black so they could benefit from our provisions. She wasn't raised as a black girl. If she was raised as a black girl, I'm going to say it again. Her parents claimed black on paperwork so they could get the affirmative action set aside. That's why she went to Howard University. That's why she went to Howard University to get the grants and the scholarships and the federal aid and to get the set asides. They wasn't black. They only claimed that on paper to get your benefits. And since you got black men running around saying she's the same color as us, as if you don't have brown Asians and brown Arabs and brown Vietnamese. Since you got stupid black people running around saying she looks just like my aunt, we the same complexion. I can show you brown Vietnamese. I can show you brown Arabs. They don't belong to the African race, you idiots. You idiots. Her father is a Jamaican East Indian, not a Jamaican African. Her father is a Jamaican East Indian, not a Jamaican African, you idiots. 
you idiots. But now, since black people said East Indians can now be black. Since you Negroes have said East Indians can be black. You just invited them to the migrant party at your expense because you said East Indians can be black. You have just invited them to the migrant party at your expense. You have just invited the East Indians to feast on black people's resources to feast on black people's communities there's going to be a brown takeover of black people spanish speaking browns east indian speaking browns and we invited them in people of color people of color that's all we talk about people of color people of color well guess what the pocs you think the lgbt's took over your resources wait until the pocs get their hands on your resources you thought the LGBTs took over your resources under Obama? Wait until the POCs take over your resources under Kamala Harris.